Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at Local Deep Researcher, which is a fully local web research assistant that uses any LLM hosted either by Olama or by LM Studio. So what happens is that you download and run your model with Olama or LM Studio and then from there you use this local deep researcher to search the web it gathers all the web search results as per your query it summarizes those results reflect on the summary identify the gaps generate a new search query to address those gaps and then repeat the process for a user defined number of cycles and then at the end it gives you a final markdown summary with all the sources used to generate that so let's get it installed and we will see how it works before that let me also give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50 percent this is my gpu card which i'm using which is nvidia rtx 6000 with 48 gpu of vram and this is my VM which is Ubuntu 22.04 let me clear the screen so first up what we need to do is to git clone the repo of this local deep researcher and I have seeded into it and then we need to make sure that we have some local LLM running for the local LLM I am going to use Olama if you don't know what Olama is it is one of the fastest fastest and easiest tool to run large language models locally i have covered it in thousands of videos so please search the channel in order to download all you need to do is to just click on this download button and grab it either for linux windows or mac and then for the model i am just going to go with a distilled model of deep sea car one and i'll just grab one of these so in 8 billion format so i'm just going to go back to my terminal and I already have Olama running by the way. So I'm just going to download this DFC Car 1 8 billion model. And the size is just under 5 gig because it's a quantized model. It is going to download it and then it is going to verify the checksum and we should be good to go. And the model is downloaded and almost there. Okay, so everything is done. Let me now rename my environment variable file where we need to specify our model. Let me open it in VS Code and show you how it looks like. So this is the environment variable file. You can see that by default it uses that uh, DuckDuckGo browser, which is again a free one, but you can use Perplexity or ShearXNG, which we already have covered on the channel. I'm just going to keep it as is. And then for the rest of the lot, what I'm going to do I'm just going to change these lines. If you want, you can use LM Studio, but I'm just going to use Olama. And there you go. So I believe we already have the last line. So I'm just going to remove this. And that's about it. So this is a model which we have downloaded, as you can see here. So if I go here to Olama list, you will see that we have this model. And then this is a LLM provider and this is a default. If your Olama is running on any other port or any other remote system, just replace the local host with that IP or DNS name, of course. Okay, so let me save it and then let's go back to our terminal. Let's clear the screen and now let me create a virtual environment with Python. I'm just going to go with virtual environment. The virtual environment is created we can activate it by simply sourcing it and you can see that now we have stepped into it as shown by these parentheses on the left and now we need to use uv package manager in order to install this local deep researcher from the root of the repo i believe i already have it but if you don't simply run this command this is going to download the latest version of uv so it is already installed okay so that is good let me clear the screen and now in order to install this local deep researcher with everything with especially with lang graph which i will show you shortly this is all you need to run this installs everything for you and it is very very fast there you go it has already opened everything for you and here you can just give your research topic whatever you want to research on so let me just put in something to show you 
and here you can see that the whole flow where it starts generates a query does the web research summarizes and then go on so i'm just going to ask it maybe what is the capital of pg let's see and i'm just going to click on submit and let's run it in real time it's generated the query and then did the web research summarizing the sources on the right hand side it is also uh, showing you what it is doing so wow it has reflected on the summary finalize the summary and this is so the capital is suva very nice let's maybe check out a few more things who is the maybe i'll just say who is the or maybe we'll say why jakarta is sinking let's see let's click on submit and i think this graph and flow that is being used by this lang graph and that is why it is showing you this myth dot langchain dot com anyway let's wait for it i'm just showing it to you in the real time how exactly it is doing you see it is reflecting on summary so this is where it is doing all the bbc report and everything and there you go so this is the whole stuff why jakarta is thinking so pretty good tool i would say pretty impressive in terms of running everything locally and it is just using the distilled r1 and 8 billion and the model is also small so this i believe has improved a lot because i have seen similar tools which were not there a few months back but i think this area has improved a lot in terms of the local search and then sort of i would say self reflection on the answer or the reasoning and you can do lot of other things for example maybe we can do a real time one i'll say what is asx futures today and then let's see if it is able to do the real time search from asx i'm just so if you click on this a view state it is also going to show you the state there you go so you can also get it in json instead of the pretty text so it is generating the query there you go it has given you something i'll just go up there you go so it is giving you what exactly is asx future doesn't look to me that real time but i think it just did the web search and then it has brought back whatever is there so look i believe pretty good tool and could be improved a lot in terms of more real time stuff but i think as far as web search is concerned self reflection is concerned really really cool tool i will drop the link to it in video's description try it out let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching